Hello and welcome back to Trillium Tarot. This is Stephanie and for this video I'll, I'll be flipping through uh, Tarot of the Sorceress. Uh, now this deck came to me through a subscription box and I like it. It's, it's unusual. Uh, it's more not esoteric. That's not the right word. Um, more non-traditional, shall we say. Um, as a reminder, as I'm going through this, these cards, though, please do give the video a thumbs up. Uh, it helps the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, this deck is definitely not beginner-friendly, as you can see from the imagery. You know, I the only way I know that the card is what it is is because of the word, the description at the lower left corner of the screen. Um, by the way, as I flip through this video, if you want to slow it down uh, so you can take a closer look at some of these cards, you can certainly do that by um, clicking on the gear icon, uh, whether in your YouTube uh, app or on the web browser that you're watching. You have the option to either slow it down or speed it up, depending on your preference. Pretty impressive tower card there. You can see that pretty much all of the uh, coloring on these cards are black and white and gold. So it's kind of interesting to see the contrasts and how they, the artist uh, uses the imagery uh, and the colors as expressions. Now, this deck has, uh, it uses elements instead of suits. So you, you would need to know that uh, swords are related to the element of air. So this particular um, suit is the suit of swords. Two of air, three of air. Oh, there's the sword imagery there. Well, no, it's that, that's a musical instrument. I got excited about it being a sword. <laughs> Now, now that card I think is interesting because even though it is the suit of air, it has candles on it. So if I didn't, if I wasn't reading the bottom of the card, I may be confusing that one with um, the element of fire, which is the suit of wands. The next one we will look at. I also like the fact that this uh, deck uses the the symbol for the element. Uh, you know, the, the triangle uh, symbols for air, fire, water, and earth. Um, so here, for example, we're going to jump into the suit of wands, or in this deck, it's the, the suit of fire. So we see the triangle symbol for uh, the element of fire. But I do tend to geek out on some of those details, so... You may not find it as impressive as I do, and that's okay. Um, nine and ten. I just realized I might be going a little bit slow, so I'll speed up a little bit. We have the queen and the king. And then I'll get these, uh, these two out of the way, and we'll jump into the suit of water or cups the element of water i should say the suit of cups and again that one has candles on it as well so um, you can't be as consistent with the fire imagery i guess when it comes to candles the knight of water Swan makes sense because Swan is a water bird. And he's holding a shell, which is related to the element of water. The final suit here, or the final element, is the element of earth, which would be the suit of pentacles. Four and five. Yeah, I'm noticing a lot of candle imagery. <laughs> I like to have decks, though, that are uh, a little bit more neat, more unique, and less traditional. A little more neat. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. A little more neat. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It is kind of a, a fun deck. Um, please do give the video a thumbs up and interact with the channel. It would definitely help me out. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to the next one.